Hey there, welcome to the 12th Easy JavaScript tutorial part of EasyProgramming.net. Today we're going to cover number methods. Last time we briefly went over strings and all the different things that you can do with strings. Numbers are similar, but there aren't as many methods or properties that you can apply on your numbers. You can always convert a number to a string and then apply string methods to it just to have access to more methods. Uh, I'll give you an example later on in this tutorial. Uh, so let's take a look. And before we start, I want to mention that you should always visit the the w3schools.com uh, link here and read up on number methods. It, they give you more information and cover some things that I am not covering in this tutorial, such as value up. It's kind of uh, yeah. You just just read it in the you know why I'm not covering it now. Uh, you can look at the number properties. You can read up on them. Get uh, more in-depth information after this after watching this tutorial. So number properties. So Numbers in JavaScript have kind of super global properties. Uh, you can't apply, for example, the max value or the min value to a variable. So even though I, I declared the variable num and assigned it a value of 28.27 blah blah blah, I can't do num dot min value to get the property. And that's because these properties, uh, as I call them, a, like a global property of uh, JavaScript numbers. Uh, you can only apply them to the number object. In JavaScript, and that starts with number dot min value or number dot max value uh, with a capital N. So all this does is it gives you the lowest possible number and the largest possible number. So I have a typo here. Ignore that. Largest possible number in JavaScript. So it's not just what's in your script. It's just showing you the limits of JavaScript as a whole. So I'm just going to run it. To show you uh, this console run and so the JS min number value is 5 to the negative 324th power which is a lot of zeros before that 5 and the max number value is 1.79 blah 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 to the 308th power also a lot of digits so these are just some limits of JavaScript numbers nothing for you to worry about and I doubt you'll ever use this but these are properties of numbers we're more interested in the methods of numbers, and the methods I'm going to cover are these four: uh, two string, two exponential, two fixed, and two precision. Uh, two string converts a number to a string. It's pretty much the same as the string function that we used in the type coordinate tutorial a little while ago. It does the exact same thing. Two exponential converts a number to exponential notation. So just like we saw in our console log, in our log here, uh, the e to the negative 324th power and e to the 308th power of the E stands for exponent or exponential. So sometimes if you have a large number, you want to use exponents to display rather than having you know, 308 zeros, for example. Uh, to fixed returns a string with the specified number of decimals. Uh, so for example, if you're working with dollars and you're doing math on a number and you get 100.3456789, you don't want to display all those decimal decimal digits to your user you want to do you know one hundred dollars dot thirty four cents so two fixed allows you to specify the number of decimals you want it to output and it will be converted to a string two precision is another really useful one uh, it returns a string with a specified number of digits uh, for example if you're asking your user to input the number of uh, their their uh, zip code and they accidentally enter seven digits instead of five, you can use to precision to say, tell your script to only show the first five or you know, lets you accept just the first five. So it's kind of really good error handling. We also have parse int and parse float, two, th two methods that I'm not gonna cover is because I covered this in the type coercion tutorial a little while ago along with the string uh, function right here. So let's just start. So my setup here is pretty much the same as the last tutorial of strings where I set up some placeholders of where we're going to put our answers and we're going to apply all of this to my num variable here which is a number. So I, since there's a lot of document I get element by id typing, I did type these up ahead of time so I'm just going to copy and paste. So we're doing get element by id to string. We're going to apply it here. So num to string is if I run it, it's going to be 28.2749338823. To you and me, to our eyes, this looks exactly the same as this. But to the computer, to the server, to your browser, to JavaScript, these two are vastly different because this right here is a string and this here is a number. So 
to a string, you can apply string methods to it, but you can't do uh, with 28 point twenty seven etc plus three and end up with thirty one point two seven. Instead, what it'll do is if I try to add, let's say, try to add a hundred to it. If I run it, all that did is add concatenate the numbers one zero zero to the end. It converted the one zero zero to the string as well, so you can't add to it string and number. And there are no uh, parameters or arguments that you need to pass on to the toString method. Next one we're going to cover is the two exponential. So let's say we have you know a large number, a larger than 28, uh, and we can specify the number of digits inside the argument um, that we want uh, our script to show and to round up to. So if I actually run this, I'll get 28 Two seven uh, to the one one-th power. So that's because there's only one decimal place. So if I enter like two more zeros here, if I run it, it'll be to the third power. You know, which makes sense. Let's so get rid of that. Uh, the argument here in the two exponential is not necessary. If you don't include it, it'll include all the digits in your number and do the to the whatever th power that it's looking into. You can do five. You can do three. You can do etc. Uh, in our case, it'll always be the one power because there's just one decimal place that it's moving. Uh, let's look at two fixed. Uh, as I mentioned a little, a little while ago, uh, two fixed is going to be really useful for you. It takes one argument and it asks for the number of digits uh, after the decimal uh, decimal point that you want to display. And what this will do is it'll round up to that digit and display just that. So I can tell right now that it's going to display 28.275. 28.275 because it rounded up. If I do 2, which sometimes you will need to do, it's 27.28.27. So, so, so like I said, if you're working with, uh, for example, uh, dollars, you don't want to include, you know, a thousand digits right after because that makes no sense. Next, we'll do two precision. Uh, as I mentioned earlier, you can use two precision to do some kind of form validations. If you're expecting a certain number of digits from your user, you can make sure that you're getting those digits. So it's 28.3. So unlike two fixed, which only looks at everything after the decimal point, two precision looks at everything. So it's this whole thing, and it gets the number of digits. If I change this to let's say seven, it'll give me the seven digits, so seven total digits. It's not seven digits before or after the decimal point, it's just digits. One. Now I mentioned earlier that you can apply, you can convert a, a number to a string and then apply a string method to it. So right now if I want to, let's do this, if I want to get the length, the number of characters in my num, you would think let's do num.length. Uh, that length, right? That's the property of string. What happens if I run it? It says undefined. I get nothing because num is a number and the length property does not exist for numbers. So what we want to do is actually convert it to a string first. String dot uh, length. So we can uh, cascade these uh, these properties and strings, these properties and methods to one another and get values and, and just pretty much just add on to it. So let's just run. Now I get 13. There are 13 digits here. 13 characters. Not 13 digits. 13 characters which includes the decimal point. So this is one example of how you can just just chain uh, methods to properties. You can even apply a property to that. Uh, you can even apply another method to this property and just, and just, just have fun with it. Well, I talked a lot about numbers today. Uh, if you have any questions about any of these methods, anything about numbers in JavaScript or anything in JavaScript, uh, feel free to ask in the comments below. I will have this uh, link to the JS Fiddle in the description below. Uh, please be sure to check out uh, W3Schools and read up on numbers and always visit easyprogramming.net where you can find all of this information. Thank you for watching.